What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a nice and sturdy tufting frame like the one I have behind me in just a few quick steps. Let's go. Alrighty, so we'll need a handful of materials to get this thing started. First things first is a pencil, a measuring tape, a square, clamps. The one on the bottom right is like an old school clamp, but I mean they all do the same thing. A circular saw or a miter saw if you have one of those I just didn't feel like taking all my wood down to the building a hand saw a drill to drill a slightly smaller hole than your screws will be a drill that'll have the Phillips head bit in it to actually screw your screws I used two drills so I didn't have to swap back and forth but of course you can just use one if you want and just swap the bits in and out as you need them. Some screws, corner brackets, wooden dowels, ring hooks, and tack strips. Now you can do without the square and the saw if you got your wood cut pre-cut at like Lowe's or Home Depot or something, but I just used a bunch of random wood that we had around the house and uh, saved some money on that and did it all myself. Alrighty, now we'll get into the dimensions of the wood that we'll be using for this build. Um, of course, you don't have to use the same dimensions that I use, but if you'd like to copy, then uh, this will make you a four foot tall by three foot wide frame. The top piece of wood we have here is gonna be for the top of your frame. That is going to be four foot by nine inches. Those two middle pieces will be for the sides of your frame at four foot even. And that bottom piece will be for the bottom of the frame at three foot three inches. These are the dimensions of the legs of our frame. Uh, those top four pieces are going to be the braces for the vertical part of our leg. Um, They'll each be two foot by one and a half inches from longest point to longest point. And after I had my vertical leg portion and the foot of it made, I actually didn't do anything fancy. I just put a couple boards front and back on each side and just marked and cut where I needed it for it to be flush at top and bottom. And you'll see where these pieces go as the video progresses. Them two middle pieces, are the vertical part of your leg um, it's going to be four foot by four inches and then the bottom two pieces are going to be the feet of your legs and those are going to be three foot by one and a half inches lastly we have our miscellaneous wood that top piece that's one foot by six inches will be the arm that holds our yarn and then those bottom two triangular pieces will go in the bottom corners that connect our frame to our legs. And they can be any size. I just cut random blocks off of the tip of a 2x4. But I'll show you as the video goes on where those will go. And it just helps with keeping the frame in itself stable and not wobbly. Cool deal. Now that we got all the materials out of the way, we'll actually start the process of building the frame itself. So to start off with, I just go from top to bottom. You'll see that I'm not drilling any holes and that's because I've actually already pre-drilled everything and measured everything. So it just makes the process easier for this video and you know not take as much time. Even though I got it ramped up 7,000%. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, as you see, I'm just putting everything together. I've already have everything marked to make sure stuff is going to be even. And you now you just drill those holes and you make sure everything's square and you put it together. Okay, after the frame is built, as you can see here, I'm putting these corner brackets in each of the four corners. That is going to keep the frame from being wobbly and keep it more stable. And if you don't do that, then trust me, you're going to wish you did because that thing's going to be jiggling all over the place.
Next, we'll build our legs. Now, again, it's gonna look a smidgen simpler than it should, and that's because I already have everything pre-drilled and pre-measured and pre-marked. But I'll start by putting the bottom foot on the vertical part of our leg, and afterwards, I'll put the braces on each side. Like I said in the materials portion, whenever I connected the vertical part to the foot itself, I just took a random piece of board on front and back on each side, and you'll be able to mark exactly where you need to cut for that specific angle to make it fit nice and flush. But once you get those made, then we'll connect them to the frame itself which is extremely simple and that's where those clamps will come in handy if you don't have everything pre-drilled like I did but you'll essentially just put it where you marked for the correct height that you'd like go ahead and get it clamped down and proceed to drill them screws in there after drilling the holes and get those legs put on the um, frame So as you can see here, this is where those random triangle pieces come into play. Again, they don't have to be any certain height or size or cut or anything. I just literally just cut it two equal pieces off of the corners of some 2x4 that I had extra. And you put them under there and again that just is extra support for the frame to keep it sturdy and not wobbling around whenever you're trying to make a rug. Right here, I'll be putting on the one foot by six inch arm that'll be used to hold all of our yarn. And just put a screw in that very top portion to keep it down. And then I'll follow up with another corner bracket. And I mean, you don't, you're not gonna have a lot of weight on there. So this corner bracket will do just fine to keep everything sturdy. Um, for what you'll actually be using it for now i've seen other videos of people that put their tack strips on first before they put their legs and stuff like while they got it on the ground but honestly i just didn't want that stuff poking me while i'm moving it and grabbing it and whatnot so and my frame isn't very tall so i just put it on at the end and I actually took out the little nails that come in the tack strip already and replaced those with screws. I feel like it just makes it a lot easier if down the line you want to take it off and rebuild it or put it on something else than having to pop out those screws because they're kind of, them strips are kind of flimsy. And I mean, I guarantee if you put a hammer under there and start trying to pry those things off, it's probably gonna snap one of those strips so it's just simpler to put screws in there in my opinion and also what you'll be using that little hand saw for not the circular saw but the hand saw it'll be to cut these tack strips if you need to cut it now I have a four foot tall frame by three foot wide and luckily these tack strips come or well, at least the ones I bought from Lowe's they're four foot long so I only had to chop down the, the top and the bottom portion and with that little hand saw it's extremely easy because those things are kind of thin and flimsy anyway so the second to last step is putting in these wooden dowels to hold our yarn I took a drill bit that was just slightly smaller than the size of those dowels I drilled a, a hole about halfway down in that wood piece that you see there and then I just put those dowels in there and then last but not least we add our circular hooks in to the top arm and that's what our yarn is going to be threading through while we're making our rugs I have those holes pre-drilled, trust me, and it'll make your life a lot simpler. And that's it. I appreciate you for watching the video. Like and subscribe. And hopefully soon we'll have some more tutorials and or 
content about making some rugs.